Hello everyone! Silvermoon's here with another episode of Let's Play Skylanders Spyro's Adventure. In the last episode, we got to a lock puzzle in the Troll Warehouse level. In this episode, we are going to be finishing up this... Attempting to go farther in this warehouse level. So, let's get going. And go for a perfect score in this lock puzzle, even though it doesn't get you anything. Perfect score! I took the liberty of switching to double trouble. And another piece of the map. Pressing this switch. Unlock some a new area for a couple new areas for us. Alright. And over here is just some cake we don't need. So where did those doors open? Let's see. Did they open over here? Nope. Dot AVI. Sometimes you do have a hard time telling where these doors open. Oh, it was the camera was flipped. I see. All right. So let's see which one of these we can push. Because we do need to push them. Right? Am I right? Am I right? Huh? Ah! Well, unintentional quick solve speed run method! I'm a super solver, guys! Ah, jeez, that was a really old reference. I don't know if you'll be able to get that. Basically, Super Solvers was an old series of educational games that was on the computer, on the PC, I believe. I, I only played one of them, and I really liked it. It was a pretty good game. Ah, throwing bananas at robot monkeys to to make them fall asleep and drop parts you might need to build vehicles to outrun the evil scientist vehicles. Gosh, that was always good. Of course, the slam attack hurts some of the baddies. Continuous beams for the win! And double trouble levels up, meaning we're gonna switch again. <laughs> Did I get a little up for Dark Spiral? I did. What about Voodoo? No, I did not. I'm noticing that these grenade guys do have lower HP, so... And we get a soul gem up here. <laughs> He's like... Mer what is that? What does that mean? I guess I'm gonna have to wait for Jay to comment saying what MIRV means. Midair something rocket volley? I don't know. No, we don't need to preview Zook. I've already showed him off. And I could have gotten up here for the other way, could I? Yeah, I could have. Oh well. No loss. Another lock puzzle. Gosh, they are handing these out. Hmm. Probably not going to get a perfect score on this one. It's because of the sheer fact that it's a really convoluted one. Yeah, like I said, probably not going to get a perfect score on this for the sheer fact that I've already used more than 10 moves. Yep, I got the probably the lowest ranking. 
But the lock still goes boom, and that's what counts. Smash the pipes! And meat, which you don't need. You know, though, I have to say that a lot of companies that make these games that where you can win like these big prizes, like there's one that just got to my Walmart, which one of the top prizes is a 3DS, which I might like to use as a backup because my 3DS is, I'm going to need to send it in to Nintendo because my A button isn't working properly, but I really hate the fact that it's not completely random chance. It won't give you the chance to get it until you pop, have a, all of the, until it's collected enough money to make up for the cost of the price. And I can understand that. I mean, otherwise, they wouldn't make any money with the, with the machine at all. And we killed him with the Grease Monkey with the level up animation. <laughs> nice. But I'm guessing Terrapin doesn't have a level. The isn't level four yet, is he? N indeed, he's not. Haven't used him since Pirate Seas. How's it going, buddy? Well, I have used him to see if I can upgrade him, but not in any actual gameplay on the Let's Play, so. Oh! Ah! Trollverines! One of my favorite little jokes on the Big Bang Theory is basically they're just, they're, the guys are. If you haven't seen the Big Bang Theory, great show. Really funny, but basically they were discussing who the bravest person in the Marvel Universe would be. And basically one of them said, the guy who has to give Wolverine a prostate exam. <sighs> and I'm... And I thought that was really good. And and the other guy suggested the guy who's actually giving Wolverine, who is being given a prostate exam by Wolverine, and then Sheldon says, that's where you're wrong. Wolverine never expressed any interest in, in helping people print, print, print prostate cancer. Ah, jeez. Burrow Underground. Body slam! Ha! And we actually need the cake, which is not a lie. Food is never a lie in this game. But we need to fire Skylight to unlock this gate, so... Hello there, Eruptor. And a teleporter. Another one of these pipe mazes. And Fire Skylanders can actually walk on lava. Probably going to get a rupture a lot of treasure from this. But you, what you want to want to do is head over here to where there is a lock gremlin. And more treasure over here. See? A lot of treasure for a rupture to collect. And this is probably another one which I won't be able to get a perfect score on. Due to how convoluted the puzzle is. Eight tumblers for you to trip. But I seem to be doing well enough. Probably should not jinx myself like that though. I've already used more than 10 moves. Don't know what the criteria here for a perfect score is. You never know whether you've gotten a perfect score or not until after you trip all the tumblers, so... Yeah, they kinda... Over 20 now. I probably don't think I got a perfect score this time. Uh, 
No, that's not gonna work. Yeah, definitely not getting a perfect score on this one. I had such a good run on it too, but in the end, nope, no perfect score. So sad. No perfect score for me. 50 moves. Oh. Uh, and I, yeah, that's how I, yep, you solved this puzzle. But the lock still explodes, and the present is behind here. If it's a speed boosting hat, I'm going to give it to a Rupture. Rocket hat. Plus six speed? You bet I'm going to give that to a Rupture. And teleporting back, we go through the pipes. And we're going to switch back to Terrafin. Alrighty then. Onwards! Nothing this way, so we go this way. Fall down. And we get back to Research Base Omega. And. Yep, we sure will. And we have a. We'll actually have a path showing us the way. I don't know if it's possible to d use speedrunning tactics to get, get through this area without having the map. But there's actually treasure along the path. But I, if someone wants to try and, ow, these mines are really hurt if you trip them off, which is why you don't want to go in here before you have the map. But if anyone wants to answer my question as to whether you can get through here before you have the map, for a speedrunning tactic, maybe post a video response. And why is the gear going into there? And how are we going to get back? I mean, it's not an internal source. What? What? There are two rocket ships in this game? Okay, I already knew about this one somewhat, but I didn't know about Empire of Ice, but that was a hilarious reaction I had, wasn't it? And we blast off. At least we met the enemy goal, and we missed a hat and a treasure chest, which I'll have to collect on screen sometime. But we get to watch another cutscene. Yep, only one chapter and we still get to show a cutscene. Plucked through on the machinery of the universe? It, it, well, I guess the mach that's how the universe is sometimes produces flawed things? I don't know. But he plucked something from the machinery of the universe. That's a bit awesome, but still and water a moat around the core of light. I don't see your name anywhere on it, Chaos. And now he's spilling it everywhere. And now he doesn't have almost any in that flask. Well, I guess I'll have to cut this here, but if you like this part, subscribe, comment, give thumbs up, and I will see you next episode.